Hey, welcome to part two of how to play the Moonlight Sonata first movement by Beethoven. Just in case you missed it, I've also linked in the description below for part one of the Moonlight Sonata. Feel free to subscribe to my channel Piano Bruce as I'll be posting weekly covers and tutorials on how to play them. Plus I have many more videos with everything you need to know when you are starting to learn how to play the piano. So let's get into this. In the last video we had finished off on the F sharp minor chord starting from C sharp to go to sustain fourth and a C sharp major. So from here what we're going to do is our left hand is going to play these three, F sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. And our right hand is gonna go F sharp, and we're gonna play through the chord going one, two, three, come back a step to A to go C sharp, F sharp, and then go back another step to carry on playing from here to do the little finger tap on C sharp up here. So I'll just show you that again. So we're going up three steps, go back one step and then we carry on up three steps go back one go up again to hold it here to do the finger tap now when we do the little finger tap we're going to jump to F C sharp and F a whole octave up and our right hand is going to play C sharp, G sharp, and B this time. And then like we did at the beginning of the song, we're gonna do the finger tap to return back to the original chord. Left hand this time is playing F sharp. So let's just do that section up to there. So we've returned back to the F sharp minor chord and we're only going to play it twice this time and we're going to drop the left hand down to D sharp and our right hand is going to drop down to C, F sharp and A and we're also going to do a crescendo from this point so it goes, get a little bit louder and as we get to the next chord we play the original chord with C sharp this time. So this is C sharp, F sharp, and A here again. And then our left hand's gonna drop down to C, and our right hand is going to play D sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. And we play that three times, and then we're gonna do a ping on the little finger at the same time on the fourth turn. Let's just do that sequence from the F sharp minor chord. So we've just returned to F sharp minor and this is before the crescendo. So we drop down to C with the right hand and our left hand drops down to D sharp. And then we move up with the right hand to C sharp and our left hand drops down to C sharp. And then we drop down to C with the left hand and our right hand plays D sharp, F sharp and a G sharp. We are going to press C again as well on that fourth turn with the left hand. And then we move up to a C sharp minor chord starting with E. We play C sharp with the left hand and our right hand plays E, G sharp and C sharp. And we do two repetitions of that. From here we're going to drop down to F sharp with the left hand and our right hand is going to play D sharp, F sharp, A. of those and then our left hand moves up to G and our right hand plays C sharp E and A sharp to finish off with our left hand going on G sharp and our right hand plays C just this one up here with our little finger okay recap we've just done our F sharp minor chord down here And then we 
dries up. Little ping, and then F with the left hand. Back to the original chord. Drop down to C with the right, D sharp with the left. Go up one. Right hand goes to C sharp minor, and then drop down to F sharp with the left, and then C sharp with the right, G with the left. So from just an extra note, when you're on this part, from here you're going to do a diminuendo down to return to very soft. And from this point, we're going to use our left hand only playing G sharp for quite a while. And our right hand is going to play C and then drop down to C with our thumb and then D sharp. So this bit will constantly ping off these two. It goes. And then our finger at the top is going to go to G sharp, C, D sharp, and then A, C, D sharp, F sharp, C, D sharp. So you can see this bit, it goes C, ping, G sharp, ping, A, F sharp. And then we're literally going to reflect what we did up here, down here. So with our left hand, we're going to play G sharp, and then we go C, D sharp, and then we do G sharp, A, F sharp. So that little section there goes, And they're still played in triplets. And this little bit jumps, so you're going to have to use your thumb for both E down here and jump up here. Because we're using the sustain pedal, the notes still last as we do it. So we go E, E, G sharp. And then we're going to go C sharp, go back down to E, G sharp, E, E, G sharp, C, E, G sharp. And we do the same thing we did up here, an octave lower. Notice that I missed the first note. It goes left hand treated as the first note. And from this point, we're going to progress from D sharp, going A, F sharp, C, A, D sharp, C, F sharp, D sharp, A, F sharp, and C. Can you see how it keeps reflecting? So you do these two black notes to these two white notes where there's a gap, do these two black notes where there's a gap, do these two white notes with a gap. But you do a kind of, I skip, and then I come back one, I skip, come back one, skip, come back one, skip, come back one, using those same notes. And then all you have to do is match it up with the timing, so it goes. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and. So we can treat this as kind of a six part area. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and. The next bit starts going from E, progressing through C sharp minor. E, and you go up to C sharp, G sharp, E, C sharp, G sharp, E, C sharp, G sharp, and E. Again, the same rhythm. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and. So when you get up to this E up here, you're going to go down to C sharp and G sharp to finish off. Again, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and. And from here, you're going to go C sharp, and you're going to do the same pattern you did before from D sharp down here. So you skip up to G, E, A sharp, G, C sharp, A sharp, E, C sharp, G, E, A sharp. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and. Again, the same rhythm. 
and then from here we go F sharp, which is just the same octave as the C sharp we started on. F sharp, C, A, D sharp, C, F sharp, D sharp, A, F sharp, C, A, and then we finish on this D sharp up here to do the same pattern coming back down. And you want to just carry on this pattern all the way down until you get to the lowest C possible that's next to your left hand. So you go C, F sharp, A. And for every part of the rhythm, we're using our left hand to play on the first block. So we've got one and two and three and four and five and six and we go down to C sharp minor and we play with our left hand. And then we play again when we get to C sharp. One and two and three. And then the final one. One and two and three and four and five and six. And then you carry on going down. And you just flow through the song, still playing soft. And then in the final chord, you go C, F sharp, A. So notice when I get all the way up to here, I don't press the left hand down. I just hold it down because it's a tie in the sheet music. From here, you're going to press G sharp again with your left. And you go C, F sharp, G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp. So this is a six part note. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then D sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp, A. So you're still holding that down with your left hand. And when you start this next bar, you press it again. C, and you repeat the same thing, F sharp, G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, and this time you go down to D, F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp, A, and you do the chord again. And from here, your left hand is going to move up to A, and your right hand is going to play C sharp, E, C sharp, two times. And from this point, your left hand's gonna drop down to F sharp, and our right hand's going to play D sharp, A, C sharp, two times. And then our left hand moves back up to G sharp, and our right hand plays D sharp, G sharp, C, D sharp, F sharp, C. So let's just recap that whole section up to there. plays G sharp with your left. And repeat that bit down here. And then E, E, G sharp. Same thing an octave down. And then you rise up. held down and now you press it again D sharp C sharp original chord 
D, C sharp. Left hand rises to A. Left hand drops to F sharp. Left hand goes to G sharp. And now we go back to a familiar sequence where we go to C sharp minor. And you repeat this section. up to this point. Remember, you can always rewind the video to find the parts that you missed as it can take some time for it to truly sink in. Playing the piano takes a lot of practice, so keep at it and you'll get there. Next week, I'll be teaching the last part of Moonlight Sonata, First Movement. I look forward to seeing you there. See ya!